Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. My name is Corey with Missledyne Online. One rule of advice for this game. <clears throat> Just one rule. Save often. Yeah, I did this whole entire next part. Um, and then died on a fight that you will see. Because I did something stupid in it. Um, and yeah. So that was kind of dumb of me. And then I had to go all the way back to the evil forest before the plant brain fight. And I just had to go through all that again. So, welcome back. I'm saying welcome back for myself as well. Now, coming up to this room, if you were to try to go right instead, the wind would have been too strong and it wouldn't have let you. So you take a left, you go up, and you talk to this mugle encased in ice. And of course, Vivi sets him on fire! Oh, okay, never mind. He just melts the ice. Whew! Scare me there, Vivi. Scared me. Did that Moogle just call us bastards? I'm gonna punch him right in the right in the ball on his head. Active time event. Teach me Mogster lesson two. Again, you don't have to do these. If you're playing the game though, and it's your first time playing or something, I highly suggest doing these. Um, but as for me, I have no reason to. I've played this game, geez, six or seven times by now. So you can just skip the Mogster lessons, absolutely. Um, and if you do happen to click them you can actually hit zero uh zero um you can hit circle to get out of it um and you're definitely going to want to talk to him because he's going to ask you to deliver um a letter to gumo from him and unfortunately when i was rushing to come back here i forgot to deliver um a letter that i you saw me deliver it but because i had to do that whole part again i did not deliver it so that stinks I'm hoping I will be able to do that at some point, though. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If I see Monty again, I'll, I'll definitely give him the letter, but... That's too bad. That was dumb of me. Alright, so what you're going to want to do here... Is you're going to want to make sure that... That you're healed. Apparently, I'm not healed. Um, I'm going to use an item... And Garden Hat. I was kind of lazy getting here, sorry. Um, so you want to make sure that you're at full health before you go on the right path. And you'll see why. It gets pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. Alright, and then, sorry, I keep pausing it instead of... And then you're going to want to go to Zidane. And make sure he's got everything he needs. So, he needs to have the best equipment he can have. Um... Which, he seems like he's alright. Oh, sorry. I keep doing that! And you're definitely going to want to make sure that you have his ability equipped. Um, Beast Killer. It's going to help a little bit, anyways. Um, alright. And now you take the right path. He, the right path's the right path. Looks a little chilly, huh? <laughs> Come on, Vivi, hurry up. Where is he going? Where? Vivi? No, Vivi, Vivi! Down we go. Of course, Steiner's gonna check on him because he's in love with him. Loves him. You wanna. Whoa, down two. Why is everyone sleeping? Are they dead? Did they die? What happened to you guys? Hey, Rusty, move it or lose it. Get up! No use. Is she sleeping too now? Oh no, not you. Come on, get up. Get up. Kick her. Kick her, Zidane. Kick her right in the head. Wake her up. Oh shoot. I'm falling asleep. Oh shoot. Okay, are we all dead then? No? What's that sound? What sound? The wind? Came from over there. I'm scared. Can you guys hold me? Well, that's pretty. What's going on? Why didn't you fall asleep? Black Waltz number one. You should be dead by now. It looks like Vivi. Wait. Why is he on all fours? Black Waltz number one, huh? Is there going to be more? Who knows? I do. 
All right, boss battle. I'm not gonna lie, this boss battle has killed me so many times and is actually the reason for my death last time, but for a dumb reason. Um, I was being kind of stupid and whatnot, but whatever. Um, geez, I, I'm not delivering that magnet now is gonna bother me. It's really, really gonna bother me now. Oh well. Alright. Now, what you gonna do for this fight? He summons this giant sea lion to come and attack you too, and he's gonna hurt, man. He hurts. What you want to start off by doing, though, is you want to kill Black Waltz number one. Um, because if you attack Sea Lion now, Black Waltz number one will cast Blizzard on him, and it'll actually heal Sea Lion. So you just just take out Black Waltz number one. He doesn't even really have anything to steal. He has, a, I think, a leather shirt or a silk shirt. Um, but you should have a fair amount of those, and you can buy those anyways. Um, so definitely just take him out so you can focus on what you're doing. Um... And Trance should go off in this this level, um, in this fight, I mean. It's actually like, you kind of need Trance, because you have a fire attack that will literally beat them up. So. Right now, not too, not too shabby, we're doing all right. Um, I'm gonna use a potion right now, since he's dead. All right, so once you take down Black Waltz number one, you are left with the giant sea lion. Now I have to say, he hits hard. Make sure you have health. I'm I'm serious. Make sure you have health. Um, a high potion restores 500 health. By the way, I wasted this one, but that's fine. You're gonna want to make sure now. Try to steal from him because he has the mythical dagger, which is Sidane's next upgrade weapon, and it's a little bit easier later on if you have it, if you get it now, because that's money you can save. You don't have to buy it. Um, he also has an ether, which is pretty good. Um, they're kind of hard to come by or whatever right now, anyways. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you do that. You kind of hurt him a little bit. But as soon as you hit Trance, you're you're going to beat him up. And got it! Good! Done! Awesome! That's actually why it killed me last time, is because I hit Trance really early. And I tried hitting him once with Trance, and then... A whole slew of problems and stuff. And then I kept trying to steal, even though I was dying instead of healing. That was dumb of me, so. This fight is kind of hard. Um, it's not hard, it's just you're by yourself, so. It's gonna be harder than, uh, than most of the other fights. And you should be hitting Trance right, right away, um, right now. I mean, one more attack from him. This wing's probably gonna set me up. No? Um, his chest emblem actually shows his health, technically. Um, blue, he's healthy. Yellow, he's about halfway. And red, he is about dead. So, um, it is quite possible that this next title flame will kill him while the first title flame. Trance is extremely powerful, and... This should kill him. Alright. Dead! Awesome. Bravo, Corey. Bravo. Take him down. Get 5 AP. Nice boost. 300. Uh, Phoenix down and a high potion. Nothing too great. But the Mithril Dagger is what counts. Look at that. The blizzard's over. You defeated number one, but number two and number three will reclaim the princess. Huh. Who's there? Oh, whatever. I've got to go back and check on them. So, does that mean there's a number two and a number three? <sighs> How'd they get there so fast? Zorn and Thorn! Looks like everyone's awake. That's good. Zidane! Huh. Well, let's get out of the ice caverns next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Again, my name is Corey with Missledyne Online, and feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you don't like it, tell me why in the comments below. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a good one.